Hey everybody, sorry for the interruption in the Marseille Thursday reading. Um, in case you guys didn't watch the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine readings, and just skipped right to yours. Um, I totally flaked out. <laughs> um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday were all very long days and by the time I got home Monday night I was so drained I, I couldn't even think straight and Tuesday I just needed to take a day so unfortunately I did not post the work week top and bottom this past week so we're doing a Thursday Marseille special I've already gone through Gemini through Aquarius so this set will be for Pisces, Aries, and Taurus and then I'm going to call it a day, at least call it an afternoon at that point, because my son and I have a doctor's appointment. And then if I'm feeling froggy when I get back tonight, I'm going to start throwing down for the first half of June. We'll see how I feel. But, anywho. I don't know, I heard this really low guttural growl when I was doing the Aquarius reading, and I'm like, um... I don't know what that was, so, yeah. I don't take no chances when I get chills like that. Mmm. Mmm, I don't like it. I don't like bad mojo. No, no, no. I don't like bad mojo. I don't like bad energy. It's not my thing. It's not what I do. Mmm. -mm. That's why I don't allow Ouija boards in my house. Mm. But you read tarot cards. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. No. Mm. This, for me, is a more controllable gateway. Okay? Mm. These are cleansed and blessed regularly. A Ouija board? And <laughs> no. I don't mess with them. No, 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 no. Anyway, enough about me. Pisces, what do you guys got going on this week? Ace of Swords, Upright, Page of Cups, Reversed. New communication. Don't think you're taking the cup. Ace of Pentacles in the upright, Queen of Cups in the reversed in the past. <sighs> Slow growing seed of abundance and prosperity. You emotionally closed yourself off to it. For whatever reason. Not so distant past. Five of Cups. Three of Pentacles, both in the upright. Okay. In a state of sadness, probably just concentrating on building the foundation for work-related matters, concentrating on your work, concentrating on your job, not really thinking about anything in the love and arena. Either you're not thinking about it, or you're still in a state of sadness about something that didn't work out. Okay. Ten of Swords reversed, Five of Swords. Coming in this week, Ten of Swords reversed, Five of Swords upright. Painful cycle does not ending, the sun just not shining. But you get an opportunity to pick some pieces up. New communication, you're not taking the cup. Alright, let's get some clarity, shall we? All right, let's... Oh. 
Oh gosh, Pisces, where do I begin? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Go. Still have the chills. I have to light that sage up again. Four. Well, you jumped for it. You went for it. It was definitely a new path and in a new direction, but why the Queen of Cups reversed? You dropped. You fell. Nine of Wands, you put walls up. If you went for it, why'd the walls go up? Can I get a clarify between, please? Clarity of what they mean together, please. The chariot. Oh, wow. Distance. Somebody may have had to move away. Okay. You went for it, and then a wrench got thrown in the plants. Okay. Somebody had to move, physical distance. So you emotionally close yourself off, you built your walls. Why is the Five of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles, you're still in a state of sadness because it didn't come to fruition, okay? It didn't fruit. Hm. Nothing came of it. Probably felt like you wasted your time a little bit. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Knight of Wands reversed. You worked on you, you built the foundation. Money in the bank, working on your job. One more. Page of Swords reverse popped out. Not communicating, not, not moving forward. I think you just totally shut this person out. Dead stop. Working on you. Building a foundation. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here?
You still feel connected to this person. That's profound. One more. Empress. Oh, wow. You're holding out hope. And by holding out hope, you're only dragging out the pain. You want this so bad, you're only dragging out your own pain, Pisces. Why is the Five of Swords here? King of Cups. Two of Wands reversed. You're stuck trying to figure out how to pick the pieces up. You love this person. Queen of Swords reversed. You can have a shitty attitude about it too. So you love them? You want to cut their tongue out? Mm. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. If you look at this imagery, the boat's stuck on top of the mountain. That boat's not in the water. It's docked. It kind of looks like permanently. But you got a net out. You, you're, you've gone fishing. You're stuck. What are the odds you're going to catch the same fish again? I think it's a lot of chatter at this point. You're just out fishing. Well, that's a good thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But don't you think you should close this out over here? You can't start a new chapter before you end an old one. I've said this a thousand times, Pisces. And you're still holding out hope. You're stuck. All right, well, let's see. We can get you unstuck. Some advice. Knight of Coins in the reverse and the Three of Cups in the upright. Oh boy. Let's read the four of these together. Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords. It's time to be honest with yourself.
a reunion is possible, but I think I think forgiveness is in order here. I think they may have gotten your hopes up a little bit. And then they came crashing down. I don't, don't think you ever quite forgave them for that. You just built up a wall. I mean, by all means, keep your guard up, but don't totally box yourself in. The King of Cups and the Two of Cups. Oh, sorry, the King of Swords and the Two of Cups reversed. Well, I'm going to match set here. The King of Wands reversed and the Emperor. You got to get a handle on it. You got to take control back. Until you take control back, you're just going to keep spinning your wheels. As much as you want to say that you're making logical decisions, I don't think you are. You need to start being honest with yourself. And honest with yourself about this connection. Somewhere deep down inside of you, you need, you need to let, I want to say give up hope. I don't want to say that. If you're going to go fishing, go fishing. Do you hear what I'm saying to you right now, Pisces? If you're going to go fishing, go fishing for real. Don't go fishing for the sake of fishing. <laughs> but if you're not in the water, you might catch a keeper. But you have to be ready to keep it. What's going on with Aries this week? The King of Wands in the upright, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Oh, wow.
moving forward into possible commitment. Hmm. Might be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. I have Sagittarius and Gemini and Scorpio. Okay. So in the past, we have a Queen of Coins and Temperance. Independent, knowing one's self-worth. I got plenty of my own pentacles. I don't need any of yours. Positive energy flow. Fast forward a little bit. Death in the reverse. Three of swords in the upright. Let me throw a clarifier on that. Situation not changing. Perhaps someone a little bit farther ahead spiritually than the other person. Heartbreak. Why is... Hey, I better shuffle this. Why is death reversed here? Really? Death reversed came back out by itself. What do you know about that? I'm going to put it back in and see if it comes back out. Sorts. Strength reversed. Same old song and dance. Impeding change. Impeding change. You don't belong here. That's been hanging out in the deck all morning. Thought I took it out. It does have the hermit on it, though. We'll see if the hermit comes back out. And that's some shit. Six of Wands. Possible fire sign injury. Could be a Leo. Another Leo card. Could it be a Leo involved in the situation? Possibly something not changing with a Leo? Why is the Three of Swords here? I'm not going to beat this card to death anymore. Shit! Why is this? Okay, really? Stop! Why is the Three of Swords here? I'm jiggling the table. Ace of Cups. Sadness. State of sadness. New start in love. Something made you sad. I think some old feelings came back after a communication. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow, Aries.
heartbreak, start over, do over. I think you realized how you felt about a person in the not so distant past. Couldn't have been a year, possibly. You know what, just for kicks, why is the Queen of Coins and Temperance here? One card, one card between them. The Sun. Definitely a connection. One more. Another card of Leo. Justice, balance. Leo could have been a Libra, could have been Sagittarius. Balance had to be restored. The sun had to shine again. Stability, the door was opened. That's a soulmate connection. Someone you have a very deep connection with, Aries. You realized how you felt about them. Why are the lovers here for what's coming up this week? Lovers in the Knight of Cups. Why is the lovers here? An old connection can get you all hung up. Hangman reversed. Knight of Wands. Somebody that was out might be back in for how long? One more. Wheel of Fortune, upward turn of events, old chapters closing, new chapters starting. If anything, closing out a cycle to start a new one. Picking up an old book, maybe. You ever just stop reading a book? I've done that, like, I don't know how many times. Literally. I have probably about a hundred books with bookmarks, or I read half the story and just walked away from it. It's part of my non-committal energy. I am a Sag after all. Not throwing Sages on blast, just saying. You wanted to talk. What do you have to say? Eight of Pentacles. Self work, working on you. Wanting to work on a relationship again, possibly. Wanting to commit, maybe. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Speaking of non committal energy. Three of, wand Three of Cups reverse. Possible third party situation. That's the second three. And the tower reverse popped out. Wow. Okay. Little tower rebuilding. Nope, love notes, communication. Somebody trying to make a comeback. Seven of Pentacles, it was all about divine timing. Hmm. And that's something. And that's something. Let's get your advice. Three of Wands and the Moon. There's still smoke and mirrors here. You need to wait for things to be illuminated. You need to wait for the fog to lift. The dust to settle. The dust may not have totally settled from the tower that fell before. 
King of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. King of Cups. Timing is everything. Be patient. You really want to move forward with this. You really want to put the work into it. You have to put the time into it, too. <laughs> Aries, not trying to put you on blast, but I've dealt with enough Aries in my life. I know how you guys are, okay? You don't always like to put the effort in, and you'll pick something up for a minute and then put it back down again. Because you're not satisfied, and you didn't wait it out long enough. And I think this is kind of where this just all snowballed into that. And you had your oh shit moment. Or you're in the process of having an oh shit moment right now, or maybe you had it a little bit ago. You want to try to make a comeback. But then maybe they've already moved on. That's what I'm sensing. Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Don't strike the match unless you're willing to lay the foundation and put the damn work in. Put the time in. Five of Swords and the King of Swords. Five of Swords in the upright, King of Swords in the reverse. If you're going to pick the pieces up from this, you can't have a shitty attitude. If you're going to pick the pieces up from this, you have to lay old emotions aside. Okay? I know. You're over it, but you're not. I know. Okay, that was fun. Taurus, you're last. Really? Come on. Eight of Swords reversed, Three of Wands upright. Might be an air sign, might be a fire sign, could be dealing with either one. Specifically, Aries or Gemini. So, either side of you. Stuck in the middle. You're not all wrapped up in it, but you're waiting on something. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Somebody got left out in the cold and went all stalkerific. I think you possibly may have ghosted someone 
and they started prying into every little bit of social media that they could even went so far as talking to your friends possibly hmm. Fast forward, strength in the reverse, Ace of Wands. Drained. Held back. I'll figure out why this Ace of Wands is here. Someone may be going a little bat crap bonkers awaiting your return, Taurus. <laughs> Crazy about you. Why is Ace of Wands here? Wheel of Fortune igniting the match. Upward turn of events, ending old cycles, starting new ones. It's the Karmic Connection and Closure card. Ace of Swords popped out, but nobody's talking. Why is strength reversed here? Ace of Cups. One more. Hanged Man. Drained, held back, emotionally stuck. Possibly wanting to start something new with someone else, but you're still emotionally stuck on this. Could be you, could be them. You're staying up at night, maybe they are. Bad shit crazy. I gotta stop saying that. Bad crap bonkers. Essentially, it means the same thing. Losing it! Mm. Wow! Somebody's messed up in this scenario. How do they connect? How does Strength Reversed and the Ace of Wands connect? How do I make this make sense? Three of Wands, reversed. Three of Wands, reversed. Oh, that one's in the upper. Someone's no longer waiting. Someone stopped waiting. Somebody walked away from the damn dock, stopped talking, ready to close the chapter out. Somebody else is hung up. Well, gee. Why is Queen of Swords here? As for what happens this week, why is the Queen of Swords here? Page of Pentacles. Hmm. That's a little bitty offer. Truth be told, cold hard truth. Someone might be coming in with an apology as to why they were so cold. Why they had to go all Queen of Swords. Three of 
The Nine of Swords is reversed. Someone will be able to rest again. Happening this week. Why is justice reversed here? Imbalanced confusion. Someone else getting all wrapped up. Guilty conscience. Someone may have a guilty conscience. Okay. This wasn't confusing at all. Getting to the long and the short of it. Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords reversed. The sun ain't gonna shine again until you balance back out. You're the only one with the power to end this pain is you. Until you end this cycle and end it for good, it's still gonna be swords in your back. You're the one who decides when they get pulled out. You're the one who decides when the sun shines again. Empress reversed in the Five of Swords. Picking up the pieces and accepting that this wasn't meant to grow. What is done is done. Picking up the pieces, walking away from the battlefield. The Nine of Wands and the Knave of Chalices, Page of Cups. Keep your guard up. It is possible to keep your guard up and remain open. It's possible to just talk. Just talk. One second. The Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Just talk. Don't keep your walls up forever, but just talk. Regain your independence. Play the field for a while. It's okay. When you're ready, you're ready. But the only one who controls when you're ready is you. Don't let other people try to pull your strings. And if somebody wants to come in and out of your life, the old non-committal Joe, or Jane, you know, whoever. Be careful what you offer them. Are you going to give somebody the world if they're not going to take it and stay? I mean, totally up to you, Taurus. But I think you have more self-worth than that, and I think you need to remember that. Okay, I have to get ready to go to the doctor, so we'll see how that goes. I might be back on later tonight. Knocking out some readings for the first half of June. We'll see how froggy I feel. This was pretty draining. I mean, I had to cut it into two readings, but... Yeah. Alright. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you guys later.